Okay guys, so I have partnered with As I Am to show you this really super defined finger coil out using their Long and Lux collection. Perfect look for New Year's Eve. So I first started off by co-washing my hair and I used the As I Am Long and Lux Grow Wash. You guys know already I love this co-wash so much. It cleanses well, it detangles well, and plus it has a special blend of natural ingredients that helps to promote healthy hair growth. So my hair is left nice and conditioned and ready to be styled. I'm first going to grab the Long and Lux Scalp Serum and I'm going to apply this to my scalp. The scalp serum is infused with lots of great nutrients such as biotin, aloe vera, pomegranate juice, pomegranate butter, protein, and saw pimento that all help to rejuvenate your scalp for healthy follicles and longer hair. It's white, it's weird, it's different, I know, but the whiteness definitely disappears once you massage it into your scalp and it leaves your scalp feeling super hydrated and moisturized. So once I'm finished applying the scalp serum all over my scalp, I have started the finger coiling process and on shorter hair, it does take a little bit more time and effort, but I'm gonna show you guys on this section how I did it. So I first just resaturated my hair with a little bit of water. Um, the wetter your hair is, the more defined your finger coils will come out. I'm next going to take the long and Lux Grow Yogurt as my leave-in conditioner. It has a lot of slip. It makes it super easy to rub through your hair. It's a very lightweight leave-in, but it has so much moisture. I really like it, and I love the way it smells as well. And of course, just like the rest of the collection, it helps to strengthen your hair to support hair growth. So next, on top of the Grow Yogurt, I'm going to take the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, which is a little bit thicker, and I'm going to use it as the styling product. It easily smooths onto your hair. It adds so much shine and when I say my hair felt super soft after putting it on, it literally leaves your hair feeling bouncy. It's very lightweight and it will not leave any residue, especially in combination with the Grow Yogurt. So as you can see, I'm just twisting my hair around my finger and then once I've twisted it as tight as I can, I continue to twist to make it as tight as possible because the tighter your natural curl pattern, um, the smaller you want to do your finger coils and the tighter you want to do them to make sure they come out as defined as possible. So I'm going to repeat that same thing on this next section. I'm first just going to saturate it with a little bit of water to make the hair wet and movable. Then I'm applying the Grow Yogurt on top as my leave-in and then after the Grow Yogurt is in, I'm taking a little bit of the Curling Hensing Smoothie and applying that to that section on top. And then once I have the products smoothed into my hair, I'm just going to begin finger coiling. As you finger coil more and more up your hair, you will kind of start getting these little techniques the way I did with finger coiling two at a time just to make the time go by a little bit faster. And of course, you want to make sure that the hair is wrapped around as tight as possible. So go over any that um, don't look as tight as they can be. So this process definitely takes a very long time. It takes a lot of patience to do, but the result is actually very, very nice. So definitely take your time. Make sure that all of your twists are as tight as humanly possible. Turn on some music, turn on the TV, do something to distract yourself from the fact that you're twirling your finger around a hundred different times. And like I mentioned earlier, the tighter your curl pattern, the smaller you wanna make your sections to make sure that the hair is being stretched out and twisted correctly. And the looser your curl pattern, the larger you may be able to do your finger coil sections. So once I get to the front part of my head, I'm going to kind of smooth my edges down to make sure that they twist well with the rest of the finger coils. So I'm going to take the Long and Lux Grow Edges Edge Control. And you guys know I am big on edge controls and I actually really, really like it. It does not flake. Um, it's very easy to smooth onto your hair and it lays down the edges very well. And of course, it has the same aloe vera, pomegranate juice, um, um, protein and saw pimento that all help to strengthen your hair and promote healthy hair growth especially on the edge line and I know that an edge control will work really well when it smooths down my wet hair very well because um edge controls tend to work better on dry hair for me but on wet hair it never actually lays my edges so um I could tell that this was going to dry really well and it did. I always suggest applying your edge control to your hair while it's still a little bit damp so that way you can give your hair some time to dry with that edge control holding it in place. So once I was done finally with all of my finger coils this is what my hair was looking like. As you can see they were super shiny, super moisturized and looking very defined already. So I just went ahead and let these air dry overnight. I threw on my satin bonnet on top. This is my bonnet by Glow by Day. The link is always in my description box. My favorite bonnet ever. <laughs> so now it's the next day and I'm looking on New Year's Eve ready. And I'm just going to take off my bonnet and begin taking down the finger coils. 
This is what they look like 100% dry. They were still super shiny. I was very surprised by how shiny my hair still looked. And um, you want to be very careful while you're taking down the finger coils. And as you can see, as I took them down, they were super defined and super bouncy. So I was very happy um, about that. The takedown process is almost just as grueling as the twisting process or the finger coiling process. But it is definitely worth it. And I definitely... Definitely recommend um, this style if you have very tightly textured hair and you typically can't get a regular wash and go with your natural curl pattern. You can always do finger coils and uh, you'll definitely get definition this way. So once I was finally done taking down all of the finger coils, I just took my pick and I fluffed out my roots a tad bit just to give me a little bit more volume. But as you can see, my curls were so defined. Like when I say very minimal frizz, I mean, I only had a little bit of frizz from where I plucked my hair a little too much, but that was my own fault. <laughs> so this is the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Those really helped me out. And let me know in the comments below if you're going to try to replicate this style. Don't forget to subscribe to my my channel if you have not already and I hope that you guys are all enjoying the holiday season. Hopefully I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye!